Hi, I'm Tony Poulos and I'm here today with Ben Hickey, CCO of Lumina Networks and Jesper Eriksson, VP of Sales and Product Management at NoviFlow. Gentlemen, welcome. Firstly, Jesper, if I could start with you, could you please tell me a little bit more about the background to this partnership between NoviFlow and Lumina Networks? So we started working together in 2014, building the SD core solution. And uh, this consists of the forwarding plane and or the switches from NoviFlow and the controller and applications from Lumina Networks. And uh, we deploy that solution in record time into a tier one carrier in APAC and it's been operating uh, ever since. And uh, today we continue to develop this solution and, and market and sell it worldwide. And one of the things we found with NoviFlow right back at the beginning that's still true today is the fact that both companies are very much focused on the service fighter and telco market. And so it was really important at this point in time when we found a partner to work with that they truly understood what telcos required and they were focused on this unique area which was actually the wide area network that fitted our SD core requirements which is quite different from the typical data center environment. And that's still true and so we, the relationship just goes stronger and stronger. Ben, if I could ask you firstly, the show is all abuzz with 5G news. Um, can you provide a level set on SD or software defined core enhancers and how it supports the transportation uh, to these next generation and 5G networks? I think um, one of the big things about 5G that's going to require a lot of focus as people invest in these networks is the actual transport network. And now the transport network um, is going to be critical and one of the advances in this area is network slicing. And so by having the software based solution, what we're able to do is actually take a physical network and to split it up into individual slices. And these slices can be each managed independently. So critical features like isolation between the slices, so that one cannot affect the other, they could even have different failover characteristics and can be managed for different applications is going to be important for 5G because one slice might be used for an IoT application like a, uh, you know, a soft drinks machine communicating back to a head-end server, another might be used for autonomous vehicles and then another again might be used for consumer handsets. So you can really understand the differences uh, in the requirements for the network there. Ben, while I have you there, the solution set we're about to see, I know has already been successfully deployed in one tier one network, but can you give us some examples of earlier successes from the deployments? One of the things that really stands out is just the speed at which the solution was developed and rolled out into a production environment. And that's coming from the fact that you have two companies here that work together to create this disaggregated solution. So rather than coming from just one vendor, we worked collaboratively together. And in the space of six months, we've developed the solution, we tested it, and it was deployed into a live production network carrying real traffic. And so that then enabled the carrier to actually take advantage of a much lower cost solution than your traditional routed based network with all of the benefits of software, so being able to be provisioned in real time and operated in that way. But going on from that, they actually found that they got a huge benefit from their operational teams being able to manage this infrastructure in new ways with skills they had to develop and with new tools. So they've actually much more efficient now in managing this infrastructure than what they would have normally had to uh, have teams looking after a traditional infrastructure. Jesper, if I could ask you, we're seeing a quick uptake in P4 and PISA engagements. How does the SD core solution we've been talking about support these architectures? So we started uh, working with P4 uh, a year and a half ago, and uh, currently we're actually deploying P4 switches in the first uh, uh, tier one customer network and integrated with the Lumina controller and applications. And uh, so far it's been a seamless experience. What we have hope for from, from the future is uh, to leverage you know, new capabilities in this P4 technology, uh, such as uh, telemetry and other features. And I think that um, yeah. it's really powerful. Not only has NoviFlow been very clever, but to enable P4 to be rolled out uh, very quickly. But these things as we move forward are potentially going to open up new applications. As Jesper said, telemetry is a huge area and we all know how important it is to get data 
out of the network so that people know what's truly going on with their services. But it's also things like uh, having much more flexibility over how we can actually match traffic with the new chipset. And so that opens up new monitoring and security-based applications that wouldn't previously be available. Ben, if I could ask you, what is next for SD Core? Uh, what do you see as use cases that might be coming up in the near future as an industry? Yeah, I think this is a big one. Um, you know, people have huge investments in traditional infrastructure and uh, those investments need to continue to be leveraged. So I think what you'll see is people will start to uh, have to refresh certain parts of their network, but not all of their network. A very common example could be um, certain metro or regional areas um, may have infrastructure that reaches end of life. And carriers will typically update those one at a time. And so what you'll tend to have is this uh, environment now which we call multi-domain, where you could have one domain which is uh, based off of a new infrastructure like NoviFlow, and you'll have other uh, geographic regions which are still based off the traditional. And being able to use the Luminar SDN controller to actually sit across both of those domains and stitch services together in a multi-domain fashion is really going to uh, allow people to look at more, uh, more use cases and, and uh, more opportunities to be able to roll out the new technology. Gentlemen, thank you both very much for being with me. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Tony.